I'm sorry. Um, did I scare you? Mm, you look quite pallid. Hi. Nice to meet you. Phew. Yes, yes, what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. I couldn't help but give it that voice. Oh, thank you, I guess. Um, now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. Are you the doctor? Or are you the patient with the number one? Oh, I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Uh, okay. Goodbye. That was random. Well... If that was the worst of it, then uh, how much more severe could things possibly get? Alright, prep yourself and see the doctor. <gasps> this has got to be a joke. So we meet once more. Prince of Darkness, Darius, Reamer. Is the doctor supposed to be over there? What are you doing here trying to stop me once more, eh? Oh, this is not gonna end well. I remember how our last encounter ended, so... Oh dear, I am prepping myself for Oblivion. Now... Wanna have a chat? Sure. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You... You are Reamer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly... I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Reamer, the terrible black prince of darkness. Oh my god. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. I know everything. Did you kill my parents? Just reveal the truth to me. Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dearn? Why can't you just get out of my life? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. It is a pain most exquisite. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That is not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Never again. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night, outside my window. It must be you who did it. <sighs> you trust your eyes too much, child. Haven't you learned? that human receptors are weak. Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. Oh no, oh no. Fran! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, no. Is this the truth that he is showing us? Is it just a charade or the truth? Oh no, 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 no. Well, this is actually something that I had considered for a long time. 
to be what really happened that night. Oh god. Did she actually do it? Did she murder her own parents? Under the influence of the Prince of Darkness. Oh god. Ah, look at this scene. It is gruesome. It is just terrible. And he is making her see it once more. I am still clinging to the faint hope that maybe it is just a lie fabricated to fool her, to weaken her mind. But, oh dear. No, it can't be. Stop it. I don't want to see this. I... I... I didn't do it. I didn't. No. It wasn't me. Stop it, please. Stop it. No. God. Was it, my darling, who killed your parents? You see it, don't you? There is no denying the truth now. The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Unbelievable. So that is what happened? Is that the ultimate revelation? I've been playing this game for over two years, trying to discover, trying to figure out the answers. Now we have them, and I can't say I am feeling satisfied. Like I said, I kind of knew I saw it coming. The game, it kept hinting at it, over and over and over. But I wanted to believe that perhaps something else had happened. That perhaps Rima did it on his own. That Fran didn't play a part in it. But no. But no. God damn it. So this is all real then. This is all real. It never was just in her head. Not just a product of her imagination. It's all real. The other world is real, the realms are real. No, 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 no. I am sorry, Fran. I am sorry. I did not want it to be this way, to end like this. Oh, she is having a nightmare. Fran, come on, please, wake up now. Wake up. You mustn't fall asleep in a place like this, or worse. I haven't killed my parents. No. No, no. I haven't. No. It's not true. It's not true. She is in denial. Maybe it is a lie. Maybe it is. Oh my god, what am I doing? Just giving in? Just admitting defeat? Surrendering? Everything I just said. No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, maybe she didn't do it. Maybe she did not. Come on. No. Reamer is trying to manipulate you, Fran. 
He must be. That monster wants to trick me. I know. I know. It isn't real. It isn't real. It isn't real. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. I have to. Wake up, friend. Come on. Wake up. Oh, thank God. Thank the heavens she is awake. Well, I am not going back out there. I am going to find the truth. And if that was the truth, then I am at least going to save Mr. Midnight. In some shape or form, I am going to save him. I mean, it's all I got left. It is all I have got left. Nothing else remains. Aunt Grace is crazy, apparently. Maybe she has been corrupted by Reamer as well. Or maybe I was never home to begin with. Maybe I have yet to meet the real Aunt Grace. I don't know, I don't know. Well, the items are still there. And that knife. Oh no. Now it only serves as a grim reminder of the deeds of the past. Could this be a water dispenser? Oh my god. I should have thrown the knife straight into it. Maybe that would have caused it to explode and spill its contents all over the Prince of Darkness. And then again, I imagine perhaps he would be the one Kamala immune to the effects of water. A tank with water. Good. Maybe I can use this. If a Kamala comes around, I'll know what to do. Or if I'm thirsty. Mustn't forget about that. <sighs> Try to... And keep your spirits up, friend. Try to have them be positive. The spine. All humans have that in common. I can always start a conversation like, um... Hello, we both have a spine. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> ah, we would look so funny without skin. Hmm, maybe... maybe it would be a little, uh, gross, though. I don't know. The brain has many different parts. It's like a delicate machine. Oh my, and mine happens to be especially delicate. Why does the brain have two sides, though? I don't know. Well... So that was the reason, after all. Speaking of brains... Rima, he was simply after Fran, because in his eyes she appeared as the most delicious of snacks. As if he was destined to consume her, and he made sure that her suffering would be so very great. The most grand suffering imaginable. <sighs> that monster. So what is waiting for us beyond that door? The doctor still? Can he help us? I doubt it. This is still the fifth reality. Rima wants us here. He showed us the truth, quote unquote, and then he left. Because he knows that we cannot escape, right? That there is no hope? Help isn't coming? Alright. Prepare yourself, friend. Prepare yourself. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. At first, I only noticed the doctor. But then, Mr. Midnight. He is alive. He is here. Mr. Midnight. Oh my god, Kitty. I've missed you so. I have missed you so much. You cannot fathom. Oh, bloody hell, there he is, there he is, there he is. Ugh. He isn't dead. He isn't dead. <sighs> oh, I wish I could hug you. I wish. We need a key. 
We need a bloody key. Oh, kitty, my darling. I am here for you. Are you alright? Mm, kitty, answer me. Uh, what's wrong with you? Meow. Meow. Oh my god. Can he no longer talk? Was that just in her head? Or did Rima do something to him? Why can't he talk? This is really upsetting. Oh my god, this is so upsetting. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please, don't do this to me now. All he can do is purr. I mean, as cats do. But why can't he talk anymore? No. Oh no, 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 no. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. If this is another one of your jokes, I am not liking it. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here, so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to your Thursda, my darling. Palantras can help us. Oh, she is being so hopeful. It is just adorable. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Never again. So what about the doctor? Is he unconscious? What's happening here? Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dearn, alright? He seems to be in such trouble. Oh my god. This is it. I can't go anywhere else. This is the final room. Perhaps the finale of the game? Oh my god, I am not ready. I don't think I am ready for this. Dr. Dearn, you gotta awaken. Dr. Dearn, are you alright, sir? What have they done to you? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Dearn, wake up. Are you alive? Sir? Uh, what should I do to wake him up? I don't know. Pull the lever? I mean, that looks like it would electrocute him. Um, but it's worth a shot. Dr. Dearn? Sir? Nothing. Just nothing. Damn it. What's with the picture of Source World? Why is this entire dimension just like, you know, uh, made up of like bits and pieces and parts of the asylum? The old man again. Dr. Oswald? I don't like him. I never liked him. Alright. Maybe those buttons determine what's gonna happen? Oh, I don't think this is going to be good. But uh, try to... Oh my god, I am sorry if this is a bad idea. Oh god. What does this lever do? I mean, that didn't look nice. Oh, electric shock. That's not good. I think I'll just uh, leave it here. But there are buttons. Huh. These buttons don't do anything. Are you sure, Fran? Ugh. That is not what we want. The green button? Uh, no. What about the red button? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Are you sure? Ugh. Alright, I am done. I am sorry, I don't wish to kill him. Uh, can't read that. Uh, what else, what else? Is there anything? It looks like there is something behind the door, but I could be wrong. I am ignoring the syringe for now, because that seems like the most uh, obvious item to interact with. A syringe filled with a red substance. Could be blood, could be who knows. Somebody must be really fond of brains and heads. Oh my god. I don't like it. What's with the x-ray? Oh, this must be Dr. Dearn's head. But why? You are alright, Dr. Dearn. No craziness. That is good. But... But now what? Hmm. I don't need this. The blankets, I mean. 
But the syringe, maybe. There it is. It has a red fluid inside. What can it be? The contents are the same color as my pills. Can it be? Oh my god. Are we gonna give Dr. Dearn, if you will, a dose of his quote-unquote own medicine? Maybe? Could that save him? Or is that gonna turn him into a monster? Is that gonna allow him to see the other world? Permanently, perhaps? Oh my god. So much has happened. So much has happened. Oh god. This feels like a game ender injecting him. I need to make sure that there is like nothing else we can do. I bet if I inject him, something is gonna happen and then we will never be able to interact with this place again. <gasps> oh. Is this like a secret? I mean, you don't have to try and leave. I wanted to go back, but no. And now there is an exposed picture. <gasps> oh my god. Center of Brain Research and Pineal Gland uh, Phenomena. Pineal or Pineal, I don't know. But look at these people. The Staff of Oswald Asylum, eh? Oh my god, now this is... This is interesting. Let's see. We have got from left to right, eh? Christine Fonten? That woman. Clara and Mia Buhalmet. The conjoined twins. Then there is Gladys Hanna, the evil head nurse. Grace and Lucia Dagenhardt. Grace and Lucia? Oh my god. Aunt Grace and Fran's mother. But they were so young. What does this mean? Dr. Leon Castillo? Holy fuck. Dr. Leon Castillo? He was a doctor at the asylum? Holy... Oh my god, what is this? Worlds are colliding, I am going crazy. And last but not least, Dr. Oswald Harrison. Mr. Castillo, finally we get to see you in the flesh, if you will. Darius, so he worked at the asylum? Oh my god. But he found his way to Athurster. He met Polantras, he met the Velokas, the Kamalas, all of them. Oh my god, oh my god, he knew, he knew. How are these two involved? Did Fran's mother know as well? What about... what about Grace? Oh my god, Fran, give me your opinion. Center of Brain Research. Grace and Lucia Dagenhardt? But that's my mommy and my aunt. Isn't that the old nurse? It is. Oh my god. This is like, oh my god, such a secret. Had I not chosen to interact with the front door once more, we would not have found this. But this seems so important. Leon. Whatever happened to him? How did his journey end? I'm gonna have to read that diary again. How are these two involved? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't believe that all of this is happening. Well, should we? Should we inject him and see what is going to happen, ladies and gentlemen? Should we inject him? Is this going to be it? Freedom at last? What sort of freedom? Is there going to be freedom or just eternal suffering? Dr. Dian, I have got something for you. I don't know if I am meant to do this. Could this be Rima's plan? Perhaps, perhaps. But I do not have a choice. I don't. Let us do this. Hehe, <laughs> maybe this will wake him up. 
Oh god. We have done it. And immediately the stuff starts spreading throughout his body. There is no going back now. It is done. Ah, damn. What was that? Ah. Don't worry, Dr. Dian, it's me, Fran. Ah, ah, what? I, uh, I, I can't see very well. Ah. Fran Bowser from the Oswald Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran? Uh, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Where are we? Now don't you freaking assume that I did this. You have no idea what's going on. Oh, I am trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go now. Come on, Fran. Monsters? I... I, I don't feel like playing games. Alright. It wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you, if that's gonna be more convincing. Uh, what? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Oswald? Aunt Grace? Excuse me? Mm, but what is she doing here? I thought you trained her, Grace. Ah, but I did. I told you she was hard. Hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? What? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? Oh, how lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I am Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald? From Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Uh, did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rima did a great job. What? Alright, I am just gonna stop asking questions. You were working together? You have been working together? You are working together with Rima? Alright. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife after all. Oh, damn it. I am not calm, sir. I knew it was Rima all the time. But why does he hunt me? Rima is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. It is all one huge conspiracy. Oh my god. I did not see this coming. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please. Let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be so mad at me. We are family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Just all of you. Leave us alone forever. Please. Just let us go. Yes. You are right, Fran. I am sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Don't give in, Fran. It is a lie. She is going to kill you. Don't give in. No, 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 no! <gasps> no! Mr. Midnight! No! What? This is a lie. 
This is... No, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry that I have to do this. But I am going to end the episode here. There might not be a whole lot left. Perhaps a couple more conversations and then the credits are going to roll. But I don't have more time to record today. I wish I could just finish it off right here and now, but I am sorry. There is going to be one more episode. And I guess that one is going to be the finale of Let's Play Franbo. I can't believe what happened over the course of this recording. With Rima, his revelation, and now this? I had theories, I saw a lot of things coming, but not this. They all know. It is all real, in fact, they have been working together ever since the beginning. <laughs> wow. I need a day or two to digest this information. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoy it, in fact, I am pretty sure that you have. When we'll return with Let's Play Franbo, the end. My name has been the Shadow Cookie, thank you for watching, until then, until then. What's gonna happen with the doctor? What's gonna happen? It's a trap. I know it, it is a trap. We need a damn miracle now to save us from whatever is about to happen.